Hello and welcome to Script Tonight Reacts. I'm Script Tonight. Today we're going to be watching season four, episode one of The Expanse. I'm in my new digs. It's looking pretty bare right now because we've literally just moved in in the last week um, and nothing is set up. Like we've just got the internet and stuff. So um, expect the background to change quite a lot. Um, I need to do some soundproofing um, and and lots of other things to make this work properly for the purposes of YouTube. So I would appreciate your patience while I'm doing that. Okay, so I just took a pause because I realised I hadn't even looked up the, the name of this episode. The name is called New Terra and now I'm even more excited. So New Terra means New Earth. Obviously we left off with an incredible finale in an impeccable season of television. Given us a new frontier. What? 1300 habitable systems on the other side of those rings. What? You know we're gonna go. We won't be able to resist. It's gonna be another <gasps> blood-soaked gold rush. I'm really hoping that we, we kind of keep our crew together. I really want to know what's going on with the Vassarala and what role she's going to play in this. It has to be pivotal. I think she's one of the best placed characters to do the work politically that's going to need to be done as things move forward here. But at the same time, she is so heavily associated with the way things have been done that I think she's going to face some interesting challenges from kind of up-and-coming usurpers who um, kind of want to displace her and, and see this as their opportunity. We just have so much to look forward to this season. I haven't seen a trailer. I haven't seen a teaser. I've seen nothing. Um, I'm looking forward to looking at all of that later. I did not want to know a fucking thing coming into this episode and I have successfully managed it. I know nothing. I know people say there are not clues and giveaways in trailers, but there absolutely are. That's the reason they're giving you the trailer is to show you what people's clothing is going to look like next season and give you some shots from location um, that season. And I just don't want any of it. Um, I, I don't I don't hate on people who do. I just I just really don't. Oh, and I've just like I've really missed you guys. I'm actually a little bit nervous doing this now because it's like you kind of get into when you're doing this regularly on a weekly basis everything just sort of flows naturally and then I sat down to do this just now and I was like oh my god my head is empty I've got nothing to say what we're gonna say to them <laughs> but thank you for your patience especially the guys over at Patreon you guys have been just wonderful I had so many plans for December and then our government called a general election and everything went completely tits up sideways. I just want to thank everyone for giving me the space I needed to, to do my actual real world job and come back to this when I had like the time and the capacity to do so and to do it well and it still be fun and those kinds of things. I really did just want to double down on that gratitude. Obviously for YouTube people, it's quite different. I just disappeared from you with the last episode and I'm, I'm back now. But I hope everyone has had a happy holiday season, whatever you've been celebrating. For me, it would be Christmas because, you know, that's how I was raised. But it's like, it's quite a tough time in the UK at the moment. We've had a really horrible election. It doesn't matter whether you're side won or you're side lost. I think everyone can agree this was a really horrible election. Um, I'm sure America, North America understands kind of how we're feeling right now. So yeah, and that makes stuff like this all the more important, I think, because it's a way to connect with people and have amazing conversations and set the world to rights. We've got like 1300 new worlds to explore and not enough time to do it. So without further ado, it's time. Let's have at it. Oh my god. What's the title sequence gonna look like now? Whoa, that was Venus hitting the um the thingy hitting the earth. Here we go. Whoa. 
the soul ring that's what we're calling it now is it the soul ring because there are other rings i got it unidentified filter ships you are entering restricted space bear off now or we will fire says who oh shit CGI is like 20% better. I can see that already. The ships are much crisper. Like that close up on the, what was it? The bar, Barbacola? Bar, 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 whatever the fuck. Um, Barbacola? Let's call it the Barbacola for now. That was really clean. And I'm just looking at the still on pause at the moment of, um, it's like they had the Earth and Luna, the United Nations. And the earth is just so crisp and clean. It's really, really beautiful. Oh, this this bodes well. I'm... <sighs> so we've just... It looked to me like Drummer took out a couple of those refugee ships, but one one made it through the room. Oh, yes! So the OPA is basically trying to keep belters from not launching themselves into the ring and finding access to the other civilizations but you've obviously got all of those refugees still from Ganymede who were like look we've been trying to find somewhere for fucking ever none of you guys will have us so either kill us or let us through the ring interesting that's what we were talking about in the last season wasn't it it's going to be a bloodbath Whew. oh and also just as a side note how good did drummer look just just as a side pathetically superficial name she looked absolutely gorgeous play eight months later did you speak to naomi it was lovely meeting her except it was through a screen that was a long trip you were on she could have taken those gravity drugs on the way it's not that easy those drugs are brutal. I wouldn't have asked you to do that for me. Good. Love you. And this isn't her home. Most Belters have mixed feelings about Earth. Yeah, I bet. It's for your next long haul. Yay! I think I need to reread this. What did you see out there? It's hard to put into words. Storm's coming. I'm really glad to see Ellis Holden again, actually. That was... Didn't expect that. Whoa. Miller? Can we see Miller now? Is he in there? Third floater, huh? <laughs> we gotta talk about that, right? Right, yeah, I know. Next clue to the case. The case is still on. 
Are we going to the ring? We're going to New York. Secretary General of the United Nations has summoned me. You can ask her. Is she? Oh, yes! Tell her to let you go through the ring. I have. A hundred times. But something must have changed if she wants to talk. We gotta talk about that, right, kid. Next clue to the case. Wait. Pause. Wait. So they've shut the fucking ring to everybody? It's not just some random belters. They're not letting anybody through? That's not gonna last. That is exactly what I would expect those bastards to do as well. Oh! Okay. I wonder what that rain tastes like. You're never gonna get it. It's so unfair. I used to love the rain when I was a kid. It sounds beautiful. You're gonna talk about that ride, kid. Next clue um, to the case. You got it, Miller. I'll take care of it. I hate it when he gets shaken uh, up. Get a first Hang on. Monday, you know, I'm... Pause. Wait, I will come to Naomi. I'm very excited about it. Bang on. It's so strange, like, him getting, like, restarted again. It's almost, it's just, like, in a loop. And I, that was a really cute scene there, the way that you had Miller, sort of, not Miller, J Jim, for a moment, feeling like he was talking with Miller, and then his face went whoosh, and he just regurgitated the, the last, you know, that kind of, whatever it was, you know, next, next clue to the case. Um, and you saw... A little look across Jim's face, like, oh yeah, it's not Miller. That was really sweet. Um, just the subtlety of this is wonderful. I'm sorry, there are going to be a million pauses. Naomi, play. Dancer. Holden never stops saying. Uh, one Kopenga, Tawanda, or El Belta, full Kopenga, Tawanda. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Awkward. That was agonizing. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Oh. Hey, Amos. Amos! Oh my god. Elba? Please. Clarissa. Wow. They're talking? I get. I'm gonna spend the rest of my life in here. Like Dad. Yeah, they really do a book at you. That's so unfair. I called to say thank you. Months heading home. Letting me work in the shop with you. Can't be sane. You're a good mechanic. Remember when you sent me to check on the, the seals in the airlock? If I wanted to, I could have blown the outer door while I was in it. Killed myself. Yep. Was that on purpose? If I was staring down a lifetime sentence, I'd want to have the option. He's amazing. It was kind of you to make the offer. But Anna was right. I. I don't deserve it easy way. Stop it. You breathe in, you breathe out, eat, shit, sleep. You take whatever they give you, and you give nothing in return. Can I bother you again sometime? Sure thing, Peaches. <laughs> Peach Melba. Oh, man. Pause. I don't care what anyone says. I genuinely get something from Amos's little motivational speeches. And I know they are so atypical. I just, I feel really pumped when Amos, like, gives his little... Is that, that's what he would do. He would, he would give you the option of killing yourself so that you had choice over whether you continued and lived that life or you just ended it. He is such a dude. He is such a dude. And I actually feel just as attached to Melba as I did at the end of last season. It surprised me actually, because I spent, I really deeply hated that character and they really spun a, spun a 180 on me. I took it in a different direction completely. And I found it completely believable. And so I've ended up actually really, really connected 
to Melba, as I think you, you can only put, it's really interesting when writers do that, when they make you really hate someone and then fall in love with them after having hated them, I think it creates quite a deep bond um, with, the, with that character, because it's not a superficial kind of, oh, I like them, they're nice. They've really, you know, you've really like overcome really negative feelings for them. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. I'm just, I honestly thought for a moment I had my screensaver up from the Apple telly, which does the, you know, but the, the earth looks incredible on this. I'm so impressed. Let's do this. What I want is more ships at the ring blockade. All I need from you is to make that happen. This is crazy. We could leave to a to the no. Madam Secretary, if I may. Nancy, don't hmm? start this shit with me again. Half our population is unemployed, and we've been given the biggest opportunity to give yeah. them jobs, to give them a purpose in a century. <laughs> they want to explore new worlds. We should let them. When Columbus arrived, at least he knew what was waving at him was human. We've sent out hundreds of probes to the rings. Not one of them has turned up any little green man. You, you haven't seen it yet, so it doesn't exist? That's your argument? You can't control a goddamn gold rush. What are you trying then? Sooner or later, an Earth ship will try to run the blockade. Are you going to shoot down our own citizens, or are we going to turn the situation to our advantage? We are going to do what I goddamn said we are going to do. Where are you going with this? Wherever I goddamn like. <laughs> do it. This is crazy policy. I understand, but I think it's wrong. This is gonna burst. There's gonna be a mutiny. Are you familiar with the Barba Piccola? One of the four that slipped through the ring? The Belters have been installing comb relays through the ring gates, prioritizing those four systems. By some miracle, the Belters in this world survived. About a hundred or so. They're calling the planet Elus. The planet ah. is practically made of lithium. They're mining it. Play. Good. Belters struck it rich. Good for them. They also found this. That looks like the work of the person, Malik. Doesn't appear to be active. And for a few hundred years, we thought Phoebe was just a ball of ice orbiting Saturn. Oh, shit. I want you to go to Elis. Oh, God! No, God, please, no! 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 You have the insight to the proto molecule that no one else does. Is Illus a ghost sound or another fucking Earth? Mm -hmm. And if it is another Earth? Evacuate the Belters. Destroy the proto molecule if you can. And get the hell out of there. Wow. Nice of Avis to roll and appear for a salvage plan. Yay! How'd she look? Fine. No, I mean, like. What was she wearing? <laughs> it's good to be home. <laughs> the Edward Israel. It's a science ship. A survey vessel out of Titan. They've got the gear and the expertise to assess the situation and hopefully contain any contamination. We'll have access to their resources if we need them. I open those gates. So I'm responsible if anything comes through we them. We all open those gates. Naomi, you and Alex will stay in orbit. I'm going seat. to the surface too. I'll have time to prepare. What? There's 1,300 new systems out there, and I don't want to see them all from orbit. All right, then, in which case, we're going to need to rig the Rossi for an unassisted landing. I know a guy on Luna. Give him a call. Naomi. Hmm? Whatever happens down there. I love the way she just takes care of him. Mars! I was wondering. Where's Bobby?
fuck off. I'm unhappy. What's he done with her? I thought she'd be on the rock scene. Don't miss your deadline. Mars is better for everyone when everyone does their part. So I predict Bobby is going to be in a fight for life in about 30 seconds. Hey, Bobby. Yay. Nice to see you, fly boy. I saw the news you're heading to the ring. Are you going to New Terra? I can neither confirm nor deny that. There's a protomolecule down there. Apparently we are experts in the field, so who better to go and see for sure, right? And how are you feeling about it? You wouldn't understand. What's that supposed to mean? You have anything in your life. Sure I have. All the time. But there's a trick. You just have to believe that what you're doing really matters. <laughs> and then the fear oh, can't control shit. you. Shit. The way he's getting mad. Shit. Take care of yourself, fly boy. You too, mommy. 